Sometimes I feel like television comedy is moving backwards, and especially so with live action. I don't want some girl. I want you to come clean. <laughs> oh, you cannot get me to come. <laughs> Oh, I can get you to come. No, God, please, no! I no! Can no! Come no! No! But then I watched something like Police Squad. Police Squad in color. Starring Leslie Nielsen. Also starring Alan North. Even though it's a show that came out nearly 40 years ago, Police Squad feels like such a breath of fresh air compared to the comedies I watch today. There's just so much going on, so many things in any one scene that can make you laugh that it almost always catches me off guard with where the next joke is going to come from. One moment I'll be paying attention to what the characters are saying and then the next I'll notice something strange in the background. It's the perfect comedy for rewatches because you'll almost always pick up on something that you didn't see before. Some small pun or visual gag that you didn't even realize was in the scene. There's something I can do for you? Locksmith? No, 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 no. Locksmith. Locksmith. But why is this the case? Why does it seem to be that we're settling for comedies today that focus mainly on crazy situations instead of giving us something more substantial and visually clever? This our comedy club. Humor here funny in different way. It not reinforce stereotypes. Comedy come from character, real situations, not abstract craziness. Translation, boring. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Ow! What if you weren't limited? How could you use the full range of sound and visuals to create clever comedy that isn't just about abstract craziness or characters saying cheap lines of commentary? Well, according to this, Frank, he was a model prisoner. Vote him and I'm all fit. Well, let's take a trip back in time and learn from one of the best shows in this genre. Who are you and how did you get in here? I'm a locksmith. And I'm a locksmith. Okay, so let's talk about sound, or to be more specific, dialogue. What if you had a character and you needed them to say something funny about something that just happened? Would you just point the camera at them and let them say the comment? Cam, we need to talk about this. We, we have these lamps at home. We have boat lamps. I know, it's so validating. It's like that time we saw our can opener in that dog food commercial. We rented a houseboat. My dad wanted us to take a big lake trip so we could see the first total eclipse in 99 years. You know, growing up on a farm, I always fantasized about lake life. Yeah, you know, anyone can go to the lake. Only the elite can sleep on it. Or would you do something a bit different? You owe me $100, now cough it up. Or what if you wanted the characters to say a joke that was self-aware? Something that introduced some meta humor and try to poke fun about the actual show they were in. Would you throw in a line or two for them to say? And since you're black and I'm white, that makes it more special for the audience. Or would you do something more clever and subtle? Like how about a title card sequence that has a non sequitur with an actor playing a character that never appears on the show and an announcer that is given dialogue that doesn't match the title of the episode? Tonight's episode, The Guilty Alibi. As you can see, the dialogue in Police Squad isn't just about the characters saying funny observations or comments. It's an entire playing field of clever wordplay. You've got clever puns, witty double meanings, pointless non sequiturs, and characters taking things literally when they shouldn't be. I'm Captain Brett. Cigarette? Yes, it is. See the girl over there? When she leaves, put a tail on her. Okay, boys, run her in.
The writing is just so intelligent, it reminds you that there's more to comedy than just characters saying a cheap funny remark here and there, because it's about finding new ways to be creative with how you can get a laugh. And I think that when you deliver dialogue through clever wordplay like this, it makes an entire scene feel so much more alive. There's almost like a dance and a rhythm being performed between the characters, and you can really feel how they're bouncing off each other's lines instead of just reacting to the other. Is there a ransom note? Yes, the butler found it. It was tied to this window and thrown into the rock garden. I sent the note to the lab. They're demanding one million dollars. Why would the lab demand a million dollars? The kidnappers made the demand, Frank. Uh, if you don't mind, Ed, I'd like to see the scene of the abduction. Sure, right here. The abduction scene one, take three. I love you too, Kinsley. The clever wordplay demands your attention and focus to understand the joke. There's no filler dialogue in between these lines, and the show keeps you interested in finding out where it's going to deliver the next joke and how. I know you got Sally's record from R&I, but how did you know she handled the loan office heist? Just a little hunchback at the office. Thought so. I brought that little hunchback with me. Charlie, come out here. Charlie, good going. To me, this is just so much more exciting to watch than just cutting the camera from one close-up of a character to the next. And that brings me to the next aspect that I love about Police Squad, the visual comedy. I could use a man like you around here. The visual comedy on Police Squad seems to move effortlessly between one gag to the next. In one second, you'll be watching the characters talking, and then the next, you realize there's a Colosseum in the background. There's just such a childlike imagination with every scene. It feels like the writers are just having fun with coming up with different visual concepts, and it's this sheer spectacle that makes the entire episode feel like a playground for them. You think you make enough to keep her in the lifestyle she's accustomed to? Of course, I have a job. Well, I've done a little checking on that. You owe a lot of money to a lot of people. You need more than a job. You think I married Terry for her money? I didn't say that. From the costuming, to the props, to the backgrounds, there's so many types of jokes around any one scene, and it makes rewatches so much more enjoyable because you start noticing new things every time you watch. Now, do you think you can beat the champ? I can take him blindfolded. What if he's not blindfolded? I can still beat him. Apart from some animation, most comedies these days don't really focus too much on the background. It's almost always there just as something to paint a grounded, realistic setting, which doesn't feel as interesting to look at, even if it does make sense for the show. Compared to something like Police Squad, this kind of comedy feels two-dimensional. Almost all the jokes come at you through sound, and nothing really comes at you visually. In Police Squad, you can have characters simply examining a crime scene, but then have so many other things happening around them, like a maid, that is literally dusting for prints, or a boxer swinging from the rope but being completely ignored amongst the chaos. Every crime scene on the show is another opportunity to insert the field with more and more layers of jokes. It's almost like a painting with so many things happening and you never know quite where to look. What an explosion. Yeah. Well, our job's done here. Yeah, we better get back to headquarters. What time is it? Mm, it's later than I thought. I also love that even when you want to get to a new setting in the story, and you need to have the characters moving from one point to the next, Police Squad can still manage to squeeze in a joke that can be so subtle as something like breaking the fourth wall. And if the characters aren't moving, then the background is. One of my favorite kinds of visual jokes is when common expressions or ideas are taken literally. I remember rewatching the series and on the third time, I noticed there's a truck in the background made to look like a giant toe, just so the characters can say the tow truck is here, and then you watch it slowly pull the car away before moving to another scene. Can you just think of the time and budget they would have had to spend in order to make just that one joke for a few seconds on the screen? It's like these little things that make me love the show even more, and you can tell the characters would have had so much fun coming up with all these different ideas with the writers. These are the same people who made Airplane and later on the equally hilarious Naked Gun series. And you can really see the same style of comedy on this show. I'm gonna kill all of you, one by one. Nice work, Frank. What? 
But that's where I think the format was really the key difference with why those films were more successful than the television series that eventually was cancelled after just six episodes. Compared to film, the runtime of Police Squad is just too short. There's too many jokes to fit in that the viewer really needs to pay attention all the time. That's why even the CEO of ABC at the time wasn't kidding when he literally said that they had to cancel Police Squad because people had to watch it. And uh, Thermopolis, who was the head of ABC at that time, he said, uh, well, the series didn't work because you had to watch it. Well, it sounds funny and sounds dumb, but it was true. You had to pay attention. You couldn't look away. You had to watch that to make sure that you caught the humor or where it was coming from. And television, people don't really watch TV. Unlike, say, other shows that include a lot of filler time between the jokes, with Police Squad, you really had to pay attention because there was barely any filler, if any, and a lot of the humor required you to focus a little bit more than what you'd be used to, not just on understanding the joke, but also catching the different little jokes here and there. Lieutenant Drebin, what do I do? Well, as I understand it, you're in the textile business. Yeah, I know. Is Cooper Martin here? Yeah. They're sitting at the table with a couple of tramps. <laughs> Every line of writing, every line of dialogue, and every scene had something that could make you laugh. And unless you were truly watching it, you might have just missed it. And that's the difference when it comes to comedies today. Because I usually find myself mentally tuning out from the boring parts and then paying attention again when it becomes funny. So that overall, I've done my own mental edit of the show to make it look better. With Police Squad, you can't do that. And moreover, there's no need to. The show itself is better without you doing any mental aerobics to make you feel like you're watching something funny because it is genuinely funny. It is genuinely clever and perhaps too clever for its own good. But that doesn't mean Police Squad isn't a brilliant show or that it can't teach us anything about how to make a comedy because it can and it should. And I hope that in watching it, it becomes an example that shows us that we shouldn't be satisfied with what we're currently getting because we can look in the past and realize the genius that came before us. All the evidence we've got is purely circumstantial. Yeah, you're right. Tell that bomber to take off! tune in next week for another exciting story from the files of Police Squad. Vic tells me that some of the money I gave you to pay the Frenchman was missing. The Frenchman was very upset.